I'm sure, do most of you follow? So, so, this, so there's this account online, right? Um, called Business Text Teshno that I follow, um, which is essentially is turned into a bit of a catalog uh, platform for all the indiscretions of people involved in the business techno scene which is essentially their way of saying all the cultural vultures money hungry corporate sponsored in it for the clout djs and dance music practitioners who have effectively made it their life's mission to embarrass themselves and to show up exactly who they are through this entire pandemic whether it's performing in the midst of a global virus outbreak or just completely ignoring um social cues they go out of their way to basically show us that all they care about is playing their music in front of crowds um swarmed in fake smoke and pyrotechnics whilst the other the whilst the rest of the world burns down and they fly on their private jets complete horror show but you know it is what it is so they stay they spend a good time documenting a lot of the footage like i said before a lot of the footage is kind of getting i feel like it's getting a lot of it's getting lost because of the new instagram update you, you can't search via location anymore Pr prior you could search via location you could go in your search bar search a location whether it was a, a restaurant a club whatever and then in the list of images that come up that people have tagged themselves in geotagged you could search via stories but that's changed i don't know why that is someone said it was to do with the elections i'm not sure if that's true i guess we're going to know after the inauguration happens but it's a feature that hasn't come back on the platform yet and that that was a main driver behind finding out where these raves were happening who was doing them blah 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 so um th but business tech techno I still find a way of kind of collating some of these images around and the biggest one i saw was this today the other day right this image here of video of richie ahmed um someone i guess what's, what's, that, what's that label what's jamie jones's label um what's it called jamie jones's label what's it actually called let me see if i can get it up here richie ahmed what's the label that he's part of i forgot the name of it but, 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 but. oh hot creations right so hot creations dude which is this guy here richie ahmed um that's uh jamie jones's label and it's funny though because supposedly as the story goes he was allegedly this is what i've heard on the streets the rumors out there is that he was their kind of in-house dealer right and but because he was such a cool dude and great to hang out with and good company they kind of convinced him or he convinced himself to try out djing and he basically hooked them up with doing opening sets on nights that no one was wanted to do and then through those opening sets playing you know essentially when no one's at the club between i was to say eight between eight and ten p.m he slowly but surely got better at it he started producing on a side and then he slowly made the transition from leaving his life of you know uh, alleged crimes and decided to be a full-time dj that's basically how he kind of got his start so it's a bit of an inspirational story it's also maybe a story that's quite indicative of the tech house scene itself right a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about the people that enjoy that sort of music um i don't necessarily care i think you know people like what they like it's not really my taste like edm but i, I appreciate people that actually like it and do it well um but it's just funny to me looking at the videos because most of these people that are playing these kind of quote-unquote play graves which is basically a, um, a description for events taking place during a global pandemic and also events are taking place in spite of the regular the, the restrictions in, in place right in terms of different countries but obviously the more i guess <laughs> the places that people are going to play in are the places that you would say have got questionable politics right um they're questionable in terms of how they look after their population and their citizens they're probably more adept or more basically prone to inviting people to come and spend money in spite of the overall health of their country just for to collect the immediate dollars so people are now going to places like colombia places like mexico um, there are places in Southeast Asia opening up, but they're a bit tight in terms of international travel. But places that you can go and travel pretty easily to and from, people are going to Miami. I saw Jamie Jones do a party there a couple of weeks ago. So obviously things are opening up in some places where they don't really necessarily keep, um, they don't really take the numbers seriously. Um, they don't take the virus seriously at all. And it seems like Tech House, it, it's, Tech House is kind of approaching that cockroach status where they could legitimately survive a nuclear explosion and these DJs will still find a way to play their, you know, generic music that sounds the same no matter where you go. And it's interesting too, because I think to myself, if ever there was a time and a place I'd want to go and play. So if ever there was, if ever there was a time, hmm, no, 
if ever had the opportunity to go and break covid restrictions and lockdowns the first thing i'd want to do wouldn't be to go and see a hot creations dj play the same generic tech house that i've heard when they first came on the scene because the sound hasn't evolved that much it's still the same bullshit they play that would be that wouldn't be why i'd be risking my life my freedom and the health of those around me and those who i don't know just to go and see these guys play i would never do that do you know what i mean it's not even it doesn't even seem like it's worth it um but hey what can you do so let's play the video and hear what they're actually playing like and what it looks like when they're playing these raves don't get me wrong seeing groups of people having fun right looks like i'm jealous right and it looks like fun because of course i can't remember the last time i was in a crowd like this um bouncing up and down screaming and shouting going a a a it's been a while but to go and hear this hard pass <laughs> and as classic as those tech house people are the dj booth is packed with hangers on um no space to move people smoking cigarettes in front of you and blowing it directly into your eyelids you know the complete horror show of a horror show of an event less dancing more posing and recording of videos just how you like it <laughs> same shit is so it's like um I, I don't know what's say musically how can i say i think musically right just objectively speaking there's probably more interesting melodies structures instrumentations instrumentation live production skills involved in edm than there is in tech house i would say just with a broad brush and it's probably got a far more interesting artist as well they are doing different things now don't get me wrong that's all that wow yeah 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 sort of shit i'm don't want to listen to it at all you watch a video from tomorrowland and it makes my eyes want to bleed but in terms of variety and just you know stuff that sounds sonically interesting there's far more in edm than i feel in tech house tech house is so formulaic it's the same shit dum, 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 with the same fucking vocals it's like come on man let's mix it up a little bit and you'd imagine all this time spent in lockdown, didn't you think of one innovative, crazy idea that would maybe push the envelope a little bit? <laughs> this looks like pure shit, isn't it? Oh, God. That looks more fun, they're dancing now. They, 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 they get to the party all day, all morning, right? Fair enough. <laughs> these raves will, these, honestly, these these raves will survive. A, a body will survive a nuclear holocaust, but yeah, these raves will survive a nuclear explosion, mate. They do not stop tech house parties throughout the entire pandemic these guys have not stopped one iota they've just kept going and going and going and going look look at the amount of wanker hats that there's two wanker hats already there um no one looks like they're there to rave everyone looks like they're there to pose a guy wearing a cardigan anytime you go to a rave and someone's wearing a cardigan you should just leave like immediately go 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 grab your stuff and leave <laughs> Look, another wanker hat. Oh, it's a black dude as well. I'm upset. Someone else is wearing a wanker hat there. Another wanker hat. There's like four of those wanker hats in Tulum. Oh, Jesus Christ. Another wanker hat with a wanker t shirt, right? Oh, God. Wankers, wankers are us, mate. Wankers are us. Wankers are us in Tulum. What can you do, mate? What can you do? It's absolutely maddening.